Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? This is Sean Sweeney, and uh, I was just uh, posting some stuff that I did a trade with my buddy J uh, Chad. He's a good friend of mine, and he has tons of autos and auto uh, fabrics, you name it. He's got thousands of cars. His collection is pretty extensive, and uh, I traded him a bunch of basketball and some autos, and this is the stuff I, I got uh, traded traded for I got a Franco Wando Franco cracked ice from them it's numbered out of 150 it's pretty badass and uh, also got Luca he gave me a Luca rated rookie card that's pretty cool from optics and um, one of my favorite receivers he's not playing for the Steelers I always hope we would get him but is uh, Tyler Lockett. I like the way this guy plays. He's very tough, and uh, he is a good player. Uh, I like him. He is very versatile. And this is really cool. This is a bat card from Paul Warner. Uh, this man was one of the best hitters in the history of the game. Um, amazing player. Played for the Pirates for a while. And uh, just an amazing man uh, back in the day, uh, early 20s, 19th century type of deal. He was uh, consistent, won batting titles, you name it. And uh, I got that one. And also, uh, I got a Robert Parrish auto. That will go with my Larry Bird and uh, Magic Johnson collection that I'm putting together. And uh, what I'm doing is getting rid of a bunch of commons and stuff like that. I'm trying to get vintage stuff and stuff that I collect. And uh, he got, I got this Joe Morgan. It's really nice. It's from the uh, 60s. It's really cool. Um, also, a Duke Snyder. And that's also from the 60s. It's really cool. And I got another Joe Morgan from him really nice that's also from the 60s somebody put a tag on it or whatever but and also uh, for my wife she likes the Dolphins so you know got my man here Bob Greasy and that's uh, from the late 60s early 70s there's no date on it but I'm I'm assuming it's around 69 70 type deal same with Fran Tarkenton it's cool and then uh, and the Mike Smith it's pretty cool from the 70s I believe that's from like 70 I can't read it it's a uh, early early to mid 70s it's Mike Smith card from the Phillies and autos TJ Rivera these are the kind of cards I collect. I was telling my friend uh, Mike the Indian card dude today. And uh, by the way, I would want, I wanted to thank everybody for reaching out to me today and uh, letting you know making sure I was safe. I live in Ohio and we had some tornadoes come through, and it's just a uh, this time of year where tornadoes come through. And friends on here and friends from Florida and people I grew up with were texting me. And I wanted to say thanks to the Car Dreamer and thanks to Mike the Indian Car Dude and um, Aaron Lynn. And also, um, congratulations to my friend over at um, Hall of Fame Collector. He got a really nice Ernest Wagner um, autograph, and it, it's really awesome. And I'm so happy for him. He's a really nice guy. I watch his channel all the time, he's very educational. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, he tells you stats and stuff about old-time players. And uh, it's really cool that he has that channel. And it's just awesome. Very nice man. Um, I correspond with him a few times. He's always gotten back with me. He's really cool. He talks, we talks, you know, shop and stuff. And just a really nice guy. I was just telling him that it's going to be hard to beat the coach's record from Cheers, you know. Someone that's been hit 2,000 times in a career 
and uh, been walked 2,000 times from hit pitches and stuff. And then you got uh, Mayday Malone that walked 20, you know, 20 batters in one inning. That's a, that's a tough record to beat. So, uh, you know, those those records are probably going to stand forever. And I got this, to get back to what I was saying, I got this Aaron Judge um, a rookie card. He gave me that one. And then, I, like I said, I collect the Topps Chrome and Bowman. These are what I do. I put these sets together. I like numbered cards. I like this kid. He's a good ball player. Um, and it really don't matter who they are. And there's another, there's another Bowman. And there's more. I'm going to try to go quickly. Lewis Ortiz. I like this guy. Um, also, uh, you know, I, I collect these. I have a binder, and I put them in. And then he gave me this card, which is really cool. I like this. He's a good player, this fella. Enjoy watching him play. And then for my Steeler collection, although it's brown, you know, the Browns, uh, Joe Hayden Auto. That was cool of him. And then... I got a stack of uh, numbered cards he gave me for my collection for Bowman. These are all numbered. And uh, here's some autos. Paul Black Blackburn. They're really cool. I love the way they I, I collect these tops finest. Um, I do the um, Bowman. And I'll show you the binder that I traded it for. I got Bowman um, Baseball. This is cool, man. I like this. It's number two. Pretty cool. And it's another one. This is numbered also. These are all numbered. And they're just really cool. So I enjoy doing You know, I don't really care who the players are. Because uh, baseball, everybody I know wants to get this. Franco, uh, Wander Franco car, and I think he's going to be the greatest and all that. I've seen over the years, I'm 47 years old, and I've seen so many guys that I've heard hype about that have never made it to the uh, majors. And when they do make it to the majors, they get eaten up because uh, they just can't hit certain pitches. They can't hit a curveball. They can't hit sinker. They can't hit, uh, you know, just, and, and pitchers will eat them up. Once they find out what you can't hit, you're you're just you're toast you're toast so i will be careful spending a lot of money trying to get this guy's auto and stuff like that i know everybody's looking for the next Derek jeter the same with aaron judge everybody when someone comes out they jump all over him i know he's a great player and stuff like that but until you start winning world series until you start playing big and hitting big and taking your team to, to the next level you're just an average guy out there that hits a ball and um the reason why you got so many home runs this year is uh, Pete Rose was talking about it. The ball's a little tighter. They're uh, they're they're making the ball a little tighter, and um, it travels further when you do that. So you're gonna have a lot of home runs, and uh, it takes away from the defense of a, of a player because you add another three or four foot to a ball, and that's the difference between a home run and someone catching it. But these are really cool. So I'm just, uh, you know, do what you want to do. And if you want to put, you know, pour $1,000, $300, $500 into a guy that may not even be able to hit certain pitches, the same with George Guerrero. He's a pig. He's fat and out of shape. And uh, in my opinion, he, he's probably not going to last long if you don't take care of his body better. His father was in way better shape than him. And you got to realize this guy's in his 20s. He should be tip top shape and I'm 47 years old and you know <clears throat> um, I'm not saying I'm in better shape but uh, I'm not in better shape because he's a professional athlete and I'm not even trying to say that I am but what I'm saying is when you're that young and you're a pro athlete you should be in tip top shape and you um, you got to watch invest in money in guys like that uh, it's Glesko yeah thanks you know we get rid of all of our good players the Pirates we're just and then um i like these also so um when i do trades with people i just want to trade for you know tops chrome or or uh or um bowman's and and stuff like this these little inserts and stuff and i like this guy i think he's a good player um may not be worth a lot of money and i've traded my friends some really high-end stuff 
uh, cause he's my buddy and he likes LeBron and I'm, you know, I don't have nothing against LeBron, but he ain't my favorite player. And if it's my buddy's favorite player, I'd rather him have it than just me sitting on it and stuff. But, uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you the Bowmans that I got from him, the Platinums. These are really cool. He gave me a different binder and I went, you know, I got a new binder. So I put him in here and there's some really good rookies in here. But once again, it's not because of who they are or what, you know, or anything like that. Because I have really high end stuff that's way more, way worth more than all this stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm not bragging or nothing, but it, it's just, I like to collect these certain cards. I think they're cool looking. And that's what you should do when you're collecting, collect things that you enjoy collecting. And, um, you know, that's what makes you happy, then that's what you go after. If you like optics, which I'm a big fan of optics. I go, I like those also, but uh, I'm going to start just collecting baseball because it's just gotten so crazy. I had just sold about 10,000 cards today of commons and, um, and some inserts and stuff like that of basketball, football. It was just, uh, it got crazy in my house. I mean, it was just, I, my house was overloaded. So I'm going to just start collecting baseball. And when I come across, so here's my man here. Look at the belly on that fella. Stop eating so many damn donuts before the freaking game. For Pete's sakes. Anyway, um This is a this is my favorite type of baseball. Um it ain't high end. I don't really care. But as I was saying, just collect stuff that you enjoy collecting, you know? And I traded my friend Prism Football for this. And you know, there's a lot of cool cool players in here. And they may or may not pan out, which I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like, I'll watch baseball every, all the time, and, and I, I, I kind of know, like, what guys can do and what they can't do and who's going to be uh, kind of – I'm really good at picking talent, really. I mean, I've been watching the game for a while. I'm real good at hockey, too. I can pick hockey. And this is, this is from my extra set. See, this is the Bowman 2016 – and I got a lot of that, man. I got another binder. That's the binder I traded for my friend. He's a good dude, Chad. And also, this is my binder that I put together of 2016 um, that I've had for a little while. You know what I mean? These are really cool cards. I just enjoy these cards. I think they're really cool. And I got a lot of players, you know what I mean? All different guys there's a lot of good rookies in here but at the time you don't know when you buy it but because I, I just buy it because I like the way it looks I mean look at the way that card is that's pretty badass you know what I mean it's cracked ice I got a bunch of them and then the autographs and fabric uh, fabrics and number cards I put them in a different binder I have a I have about 360 autos and fabrics and numbers in one binder alone so um, I have a lot of autos and stuff like that. Plus, I got boxes of cards and one touches that are higher end stuff. You know, in there, you know, there's Tory. That's his rookie card. See, he played for the Cubs. My buddy was like, he was drafted by the Yankees. I was like, uh, no, nah, he played for the Cubs, bro. But, uh, you know, whatever. You can only lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink it. But we have fun with, I have fun with my buddies. Anyway, that's what this looks like, and this is the stuff I collect, and I do trades on that if you guys ever want to do trades. And uh, I just have to say something real quick. Uh, my buddy Mike, the card Indian dude, was telling about be, uh, wolves out there, and we got one wolf that I come across in Columbus, Ohio. It's New Heart Cards. The dude is a scandalous man of biblical proportions. He did really shady stuff with my friend. And not only that, he's done a lot of shady stuff to other customers of mine. He is just opening that shop and helping people will bring in 40s, 50s, 60s cards. And he just steals them off of them. He pays these people the dirty, you know, he's dirty. I would avoid New Heart cards. He's in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, if you ever Google him up, avoid him like the plague. And uh, if you leave a bad review on his Facebook, he'll remove it immediately. And uh, I would love for that guy to call me. 
or text me. I have I leave my email message, you know, uh, here, and I would love to have a conversation with him because he's a scumbag and uh, he robbed my buddy from a, a eighty six uh, Fleer uh, basketball card. Uh, it came back eight point five, and he only gave the kid. 1600 for it which is well over three thousand four thousand dollar card and uh he just he just he's scandal he's scandalous and he that's the kind of business this guy does he does even worse than that um i got buddies of mine and i'm not gonna go on a tantrum but just stay away from them don't do business with them and hopefully he will go out of business and karma is a bitch when it comes to doing people dirty and it's guys like that have ruined card collecting and that's why people stop collecting cards because of a scumbags like him and uh, as I said my email address will be here so if he watches this video and wants to email me I'll be glad to have a conversation with him about that and I'll actually give him my phone number and uh, we can talk about it and uh, uh, my buddy will report him to Better Business Bureau and um, also contacted the police department because they think he's running a fence and getting uh, cards off the street off from people that are on drugs that are bringing them stuff can't be proved but um, he contacted the police department and let them know about him. So anyway, um, I appreciate you guys watching my videos and, uh, the contest is coming, you know, ending on, a uh, for, for July 1st, I'll be, uh, pulling a winner and I'm going through the, um, the, you know, the people that entered and, uh, loved your video MP Fox. Awesome job. Thank you very much. And I have four people that I've seen that have entered. So uh, I will check my my site and uh, make sure that I have the right amount of people that's entered before I do the drawing. So until next time, guys, you guys take care of yourselves and you guys take care of each other. And God bless everybody.